Burgo Road Rippy and Harlow back here at the pond Monday afternoon, 16th of December. Beautiful day out, have a fire going. Back at the pond. Hasn't froze over solid yet. I think I'm done piling wood here. I'm starting another pile. There's like a little bear den over here. Check it out. That's where the squirrels are at. Or is there a bear in there? That's what my, my one girlfriend up in Wisconsin, she's got a bear back in her back 40 and she raises hay, so I can get a hold of her sometime. And uh, I think it's too late now, but take some hay back to the bear. It'll be already in hibernation now, but I've seen videos where the bear breaks the leaves up to the where he hibernates, and then this this wood will go in into the onto a wagon and over to another pile eventually. Hopefully, the idea is to get it off that corn stubble immediately. So we're out of the woods on the fire. We're out of the thousand acre woods. I'll, I'll just shut up for a minute. Pretty beautiful. And then on the other side, oh, did I say I was going to shut up? But anyway, it looks like a where you throw the wood into a stove in the side. It's a big stump. We pulled that tree over with the help of a bulldozer. Me and my, my stepdad did before he passed away. He had Parkinson's when he was operating it. Enjoying his last days. That's five, that was five years ago this time of the year when he passed away. I don't like to start fires. I'd rather not do it. So I'm going to even stand in the back so my camera doesn't melt. The big old elm tree died from that elm disease. But yeah, it's kind of like a side load. And I was kind of hanging on to it. I like the chicken of the woods and the mushrooms that would grow around it, around the elm tree, how the saying goes. So I, I left it and it grew up and I did have some cover from it. I don't want to drop anything at standing because I got more down than I can keep up with, especially at this point. And getting some nice firewood out of it. And it's uh, good for the land. And then the price of the trees went up significantly. I have to wait on another deal on them. And over winter, another hundred or so. Maybe start from seed. I was thinking of that with my onions, too. I think the deer ate, I'll call this the eating net where they rub the thing. Uh, they ate about a dozen this year. And about a dozen a year. A lot of them get hit on the highway. The deer. There's Hummer, they're from Nebraska, aren't they? Yeah. The Hummer trailer, anyway. And then there's dry bulk trailers. That's a product blower that's on the bottom of the dry bulkers. And he's hauling a load of lime to the chicken farm. And I think the instead of strolling in a chicken for disease, they use lime. And then the chicken uh, does a number two in the lime. And then you get this high-powered chicken manure with lime in it to spread on your fields and grow good crops with, especially corn. And uh, it's worth a lot of money, million dollar industry in the chicken manure. But yeah, that lime, those trucks are from Indiana. I think that lime's from Indiana too. And that's where you get your chicken that you eat and the eggs. They're highly susceptible to the disease of chicken. They have to be perfectly clean and everything biologically, and it's quite a bit to it. But yeah, those trucks go by here 24 7, 365. I'm just spending, you know, I spent an hour back here, and it seems like a whole day. And I know there was no naysayers or lurkers that thought I wasn't going to get this started, was there? And I'm, I'm uh, having fun watching narcissism on there. But I actually do a unwatchable video. There's still want to be negative.
any more than you have to. Uh, I'd rather not do those. And but somebody needs to do them, I think. And the narcissist channels really took off this year. I could even start a narcissism channel myself. They're so they're so right on uh, as far as pegging the nail on the head with these the sayings of the people and everything and and uh, the circumstances. Uh, one catchphrase got me. It was "There's no planet B." And then so the daughter from the mother that was saying "There's no planet B" had on her Instagram. There's no planet B, so don't treat this one like shit. That's exactly what she said. I, I'm not being vulgar. She was. I'm just repeating it. There's no planet B, so don't treat this one like shit, she added. And she's a cute chick, and but she got her mom's negative outlook because you don't have no body B either. You have one body, and she's got more metal hanging out of her face than there is holding the bumper up on my car you know there's no planet b but her body she she mistreats her body and then says don't treat our planet like shit and, and they would be the first one with their pitchforks and shovels protesting building a chicken farm the tax paying farmers providing you know they're always the first ones you should have seen them i mean i've seen them before yeah, nasty people, man. Mean. I had a great time watching these. Uh, I think it's uh, there's a guy uh, and he busts these guys that pretend like they're Navy SEALs for some reason. And he does like three a day or something. And then he did three used car dealers in a week. <laughs> That pretended to be seals and they do that for sales driven and here uh, around Columbus Ohio they pretend they got the Ohio State stuff on especially when they're winning and they never went to college it's all for sales and for job promotions how they do and 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 the university is the largest employer in Columbus Ohio actually and nobody rocks the boat Oh wow, this is so beautiful. And if you could just feel the warmth. Oh, it's already burning through the the stump there. Yeah, I don't want this thing to be burning overnight or anything. But I'm gonna be back here. This is my initial burn and then I got a stump here and it's pretty solid, but I think in a few years here I'll be able to just drive over this with that big brush hog possibly. I can't very well put the trees any closer to this because I'm having a fire. Yeah, enough gossip. Uh, and um, I think it's funny too as far as this Quartzsite Arizona part does. And uh, BLM, that's for retired people. These people are in their 30s out there. Why aren't they talking about that? I mean, because I was out there in my 20s and 30s across Interstate 10. It's right on the interstate. They're not in the middle of nowhere or nothing. Parker and everything, that's a major thoroughfare, man, the 95 highway. But that's all for retirees. Uh, the Canadians are it's a popular spot because they have they have a hard winter. It's only 10 degrees warmer over there than it is here in Columbus. Most of the time. That's for old retired people. Not not um, nomads or anything, people in their thirties. That's a that's laughable. I was out there in my 30s and I was being laughed at everywhere I went. What are you doing out here? This is for old people. What are you doing out here? I heard that non-stop and then here 15, 20 years later, no one even says it, brings it up. It's like the trade shows, they show them, they're all walking around holding hands, you know, at the trade show. Big tent and everything. Talking about uh, summertime jobs. Uh, I'll pick on Curious Carly, for instance. She's in her 20s. You know, doing how many RTRs, getting... And I'm, I'm not really picking on her because it's actually a popular thing to do. And But no one's saying anything about it being a spot for the elderly. 
uh, in retirement. You know, the empty nesters and all that. Just, you know, a total 180 from people in their 20s. You'd think they would... So, but at least they're getting out. And it is a popular thing. And I'm really happy for uh, Carly. And, uh... Yeah, I got a nice fire going. You knew I could do it, didn't you? Thanks for watching my videos, everyone. Burger Drippy.